Hey guys, so for today's video, we're going to be testing out a new foundation that I was really intrigued by. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless, Fl Fl Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. So the reason why I really wanted to try this is because I saw makeup by Mario, use it on Kim Kardashian, and I think she uses it now. So, you know, I just, I had to try it for myself. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about this foundation and watching my first impression and demo and hearing my thoughts, then definitely keep watching. Okay, so we have the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I am so excited to try this. The bottle is really nice. It kind of has like that clouded matte finish and it's definitely glass. And it has a really cool pattern on the top. And when you pop it up, thank God it has a pump. Hallelujah. But I am really excited for this because um, Makeup by Mario actually uses this and I love his makeup so much. Um, he uses this on Kim Kardashian. I know she uses this on herself now. So I've just been kind of intrigued to test it out and see how it is. I actually have the, the claims pulled up here on my Sephora app. So it does say coverage is full and then it also says medium. So I'm assuming it's medium to full. I'm wondering how that's gonna be because sometimes with medium to full foundations, I get kind of irritated that I have to build it. I either prefer it to just be like light or more like on the full side. Anyways, uh, skin type, sensitive, normal, dry, combination, oily, so. And it says that it's a matte finish. So it says that this is a 15 hour long wearing, oil free, transfer resistant liquid foundation. Okay, so it says transfer resistant. So I'm actually gonna try that out. I always have a problem with when I talk on the phone, my foundation transfers. So we're gonna see if it's transfer resistant later on. I'm not gonna do a wear test in this video just because unfortunately, I it just happened today I'm filming this video on the day that I'm going to the gym and I don't wanna work out with like a full face of makeup, you know what I mean? Of course, I will test it out more and like let you guys know in monthly favorites videos. So I'll keep you updated, don't worry. But it says um, it's an oil-free transfer resistant with a matte finish and weightless. Okay, so it says it's weightless, not supposed to feel heavy. So it says it has skin fusion technology that's transfer sweat, humidity, and water resistant. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I purchased it in the shade 3W1 Dusk. Okay, so one pump is really short. <laughs> it's weird. I'm gonna show you guys. One pump gives you like the tiniest amount. So I feel like you would have to like pump quite a bit. Anyways, I wonder if this is gonna be too yellow for me. I don't know, but when I got it in the mail, I was like, this is pretty yellow. Like Estee Lauder Double Wear 3W1 is not as yellow as this. This is more like, this would kind of be like a 3W2 in, in Estee Lauder. Anyways, um, I really like the texture of it so far. It's not liquidy, but it's not too thick and moussey. I'm gonna put quite a bit of it on because it says medium to full, which I already know what that means. I'm gonna have to build it up, so let's see. Well, I feel like that's pretty good coverage. So this is pretty yellow, pretty yellow and a bit dark. So if you are the same shade as me in foundations, then I would say 3W1 is a bit yellow and dark. Ooh, yeah, it's okay, we'll make it work today. So it does blend out really easily. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just, it took me less than a minute to just like go through everything. Yeah, like I feel like that was so quick and easy to blend out. It actually blended really fast and it is pretty full coverage, the amount that I put. I thought, not gonna lie, like I thought with the amount that I put, I was gonna have to add a little bit of an extra layer, but I'm happy with this. I feel like it covered most. I actually had like a scar over here. You guys can see still a little bit. It's like a pimple that was healing and it did cover it. Hmm, okay. So I am just gonna make this foundation and match my body by applying some all over my chest. I don't know, if you guys wear the same shade as me um, in foundations, let me know what shade you like in this foundation. I feel like this is like one of the easiest first impressions I've ever done because I'm only in the stage of applying it and it applied so easy that I, like I'm done. Normally I take so long to like blend out my foundations. You guys know already, I get comments all the time like, why do you take forever to blend your foundation? But it's because I'm super like, super anal about like making sure everything's blended and it looks good and it's in the hairline and everything. And I mean, look at me, I'm still blended, but this blended so easily, like really quick and easy. Wow, and I really like the finish. Wow. I wonder how this would be if I applied it in like more of a light coverage, like just apply a little bit. I feel like it might even double as a really nice light coverage foundation like if you just applied a little bit on a natural day i really like it let me give you guys a little bit of a close-up i really really do like it 
so far at least. And it is definitely like it feels it does feel not completely weightless, but it doesn't feel heavy or anything. And it doesn't feel sticky. So I do get the whole transfer free thing. I'm going to do my makeup and then test the transfer free thing. But we're going to also test it now. So maybe I'll just let it dry for like 30 another 30 seconds or so. Okay, so I'm just going to take my phone and pretend like I was kind of talking on the phone. La, 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 la. Okay, so I do see some transferring on my phone. I don't know if you guys can see it. Did transfer a little bit like up here. But I don't know. We're going to set it and everything and see how it transfers maybe later on once your entire makeup is done. But in terms of how it feels, it does, doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. It is a nice matte finish, but it looks... It doesn't look dry like it doesn't look overly dry and I have more like on the combo side now like an oily t-zone but everywhere else I feel like I'm not as oily anymore and this still doesn't look and feel dry to me I really like it so far I am gonna have to find my perfect shade because this is just if I have if I like a foundation but I can't find my perfect shade in it there's just it's a no for me so I'm really hoping I can find my perfect shade but yeah I'm gonna go ahead do the rest of my makeup I'm actually filming a full face of first impressions so I'm gonna do that and then I will pop back on camera later on okay so I just went ahead and finished up my makeup so we are gonna kind of do a little bit of a transfer you know test but before we get into that I just want to say I really like this foundation my only thing is I wish I had my perfect shade I don't know what my perfect shade is but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt it down I'm gonna have to test out some other shades but I really love this foundation my products just smoothed right Right over it really nicely it looks really good it's nice and matte but it's not too dry looking and I do really like the bottle the packaging is really nice I'm just gonna kind of you know try it out more and see how it wears but other than that I feel like this review was such an easy one because this foundation just seems very effortless it applied really nicely it looks really good like I'm really happy with it so far I just need to find my perfect shade I do want to go ahead and kind of test how transfer proof it is so I am just going to pretend I am talking on the phone because that's like the number one thing I always get transfer okay so it did transfer less this time like you guys probably won't be able to see but there's a little bit of transferring right here make sure you guys stay tuned to my channel and subscribe if you're not because i always do monthly favorites and those monthly favorites videos are the videos where i update you on these new products that i'm trying and give you like my final reviews so as always thank you guys so much for watching and of course i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.